Hello all, we're continuing the, uh, the same video sequence. Uh, this is going to be Sims 4, where I've downloaded uh, several photographs from the web. Of a particular model, we were modeling, uh, making an in-game model for Sims 2, Sims 3, and Sims 4 in CAS, and then taking them live and seeing how true uh, the, the game or the simulation keeps to each uh, it keeps the integrity of the models as we made them in Sims 2. Okay, this is the photographs I'll be working from uh, for Sims 4, and it's the same model, um, same photographs I used for Sims 2 and Sims 3. Okay, I have already roughed her body shape in for Michelle Morris, and we'll be starting in on changing her facial facial features to uh -huh. match um, what we have in the photographs. Let's go ahead and pick her hair and make sure we have something that is completely pulled back and out of the way. Okay, we'll just go with this for now. It's not very ladylike, but hey, it's out of the way. Let's see if we have something that uh, doesn't make her look completely dyke here. Okay. Some of these uh, <coughs> default maximum hairs are as terrible as they were in Sims 2 and Sims 3. At least she doesn't look like a prison uh, escapee there. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Let's get started with this and. I just did a few random rolls to um, see what Queen we could get <laughs> and went from there. So, we're going to continue with this model, this base model. It's, uh, the face is fairly roughly already in Michelle's uh, form, so we'll go with that. Again, let me pop back to the photographs. Okay, let's get started. Okay, the facial structure here is not that far off. I'm looking at the cheekbone. Um, she has, uh, Michelle has high cheekbones. She has a, um, a dip in her cheeks itself. She does have a pronounced cheekbone. She has a slightly rounded forehead, a little bit more than this model does. And the ear and eye placement on the head. As a matter of fact, let me go back. I'm going to go ahead and go back to ah. the hair. Let me just remove her hair for a moment. Get a good look at her head. And again, Let me compare that. Okay, your eyes are or your forehead height is about right. I'd like to get a better view of her ear location compared to her head height. I don't have any of these photos, I don't think. Well, her hair obscures her ears. So ah. to do a little bit of facial structure here. Broaden her chin just a bit. I didn't broaden it. Broaden it out. Let's see. 
see if I can take in I'm shaping her eyebrows at the moment. I'm going to flip through a few nose uh, models and see if I can find something more closely approximates Shell's nose. Let's see. Let work from that. Okay. I need to move her mouth slightly. reduced her cheekbone a bit. Checking the uh, well, okay. That didn't do what I wanted it to do. Let's see. Before I started the video, I think. I need to get a pronounced upper lip. I'm going to take this if I can retract her lower lip. Okay. Let's go back to the photograph. Again, here. Okay, I just set her eye color to a dark jade green, a dark, dark emerald green. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm still not quite happy with her face shape. Let me compare that again to <coughs> another photograph. And let's go back here. And let me pull this back over where you can see it again. that photograph. Oh, 
Okay. We uh, take a double check the uh, distance. The eyes are in relation to the ears, the ears to the top of the head, and the mouth to the nose. Look at this all again. Okay. Crap. Okay, let's see. Um Nose needs to be a bit longer. And come down the face just slightly. If she would be still, this would be easier. Okay, that's better. All right. I'm going to go into skin tones now and Okay. See what I have for downloaded hair that you can go ahead and place on her. Okay, this is a night crawler hair that's really close to the night crawler hair I used in Sims 3. We'll go ahead and stay with that. Okay. I need just a uh, <clears throat> a very light, very mild um, brown eyeshadow. Nothing that's there. No, I don't like that either. Let's see what we have here with this custom one. Okay. She's still getting a very cartoony effect, isn't she? make her chin a bit too pronounced. And it's a bit wide still. Let's see what I can get with different chin models here. compare that to a photograph once again. And it's not too far off. Definitely going to have to reshape her eyes a bit. Just lowered her eyes slightly. And 
go back to the photograph again. We go to a couple of reference photographs here. is coming too far down her forehead or I have her eyes too too um too high. Let me pop another hair on there and check. I think it was just a hair itself that's coming down a bit lower. And then it did in Sims 3. Hmm. Quite a bit more loaded, uh, downloaded content, uh, custom content in Sims 4 than I had in Sims 3. I just can't put much into Sims 3, it becomes unstable. It's a cute hair design, but it's not going to match the photographs. So we'll go ahead and go back to that. Although it's coming down the forehead a bit more than I cared for. Let me look at my Take that to blonde and check that out. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Lost track of where I was at with the uh, makeups. I want one of the accessories that we take and um, Here's custom mine. It's in a, uh, a dark jade green. We will. Um, no, I'm sorry. It's not mine. We take that back. I just put on some strange eyelashes. Okay, let's see what else I have in there. Okay. And I'll go back to what I was doing with the. Uh, Makeups. Here's one customizer. Let's see. Enchanting Eye by Kelly B. Oh, I like this one, I think, for her. It's a little surrealistic, but uh, let me go back and have something a little more realistic. Hmm, it still looks a little unreal. So does that one. I really need to get some more realistic looking eyes for the Sims 4. I'm going to play it some more. Let's see. I'll just go back to what I had before. Yeah, we'll just stay with that. Set on that and see if I want to have a bit of blush. No, I didn't want that one. Put it on a black coat of bronze and powder, but I think I'll go ahead and scrap that. I don't like it. And let's go back to the eyeliner here real quick. bit 
too old now. <clears throat> you can't really bring just the British nose out a bit, or okay. Let me see what you can adjust here with the nose. I was trying to reduce the uh, width of the bridge and see what I can do with the nostril flare. Um, not too bad. Let me compare that to the photograph once again. And we'll go to this one. Okay. Downturn of the mouth slightly. Take this if I can tilt the nose just a tad. Okay, that's pretty good. Alright, we'll break here and I'll take this live in a bit. Okay, folks, I made a few more minor tweaks, uh, just a little bit to facial structure. And I went ahead and applied makeups for, her and also um, gave her clothing for various days. Uh, this is her everyday formal um, athletic wear, naughty um, party gear. Man, I need to change those shoes. Let's see. Yeah, that'll work and swimsuit. Okay, we'll take her live in just a moment and see what that looks like. Okay, I just went to uh, move Michelle into a new home in a new neighborhood and we'll take a peek at her and see how she, how her fidelity matches up with what we had in Cass. It looks uh, pretty close to what I had in Cass. Okay, that's what she looks like in sunlight. Let's take her in the house and been in this particular home before. Let's go in here and sit down for a moment and we'll check her out. And this house lighting is just standard house lighting. It's like one lamp per room. And overall she looks very uh, very close, very true to what I had in um, in Kaz. Okay, folks, I hope you enjoyed that, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.